Welcome to Rally Club's Dogs. My name is Will, I'm a privateer racer. We're here at Snetterton, just going into race one. Welcome to Rally Club's Dogs, and it's Future Will here commentating. A five second board was on and out, and that has sent Russell Haley in that uh, purple car ahead going. He's now reversing on the grid. I'm not shouting no, but we're going anyway. Um, and uh, a bit of pedestrian shift into second gear it means I'm getting swamped. Um, got Chris Thelwell on the outside there, um, and, and we've got cars streaming past us. We started in quite a lowly position as it was, and we're already back to position 24, 25, that sort of thing. We've got this contact there with Chris on the outside. I was getting sandwiched between those two go for it racing cars. Um, and um, with all that excitement, we're going down into um, to turn two turns until already uh, that's Montreal uh, there's hairpin um, and we've got cars streaming around the outside inside every way every which way really um, now just take, need to take a bit of a deep breath uh, and work out where we are and how to get some of these positions back because we've definitely lost a few uh, after the first few corners um, but the main aim of this race is not to have any contact um, if you've seen my last video um, you'll understand why so the main aim of this weekend is really not to have any contact um, position is actually less important <laughs> to me for this race uh, it's a bit weird to say that for a race but obviously we'll try and get as much as we can cars up ahead side by side um, we got um, uh, that car 25 um, up ahead of us um, and they are going well go, going sideways almost uh, through Hamilton now up to up to Oggies um, and oh, there's contact up ahead I think and there's cars all streaming around uh, the outside uh, I think we're gonna be side by side with Tim Storer in car 50 um, and going on to the back straight uh, we may have a couple of positions there uh, just by being in the right place at the right time um, we've got Chris Delwell behind us Tim Store up ahead so we're sandwiching uh, again those two go for it racing cars um, going slowly is Charles Boniface in car number 14 he's still on the inside as Charles uh, and uh, well gonna He's actually going to go all around. I think he's something off with his car. He so slow down that straight, but we've done the switcheroo and we're back, uh, back through, back into position 21. So recovering most of our positions that we've lost. Uh, if you look behind us, it's definitely a problem with that car. He's off the circuit. Um, I think he's going to have to go into the pits. Um, he does end up doing uh, with a DNF, so I think um, an issue with that car. Uh, we kind of spotted it down the um, start finish straight there. Um, going into the end of uh, lap one um, and we've uh, with all that excitement there's a bit of a gap now between um, Tim Storer and myself uh, and the cars behind and the cars up ahead so quite keen now uh, we need to get going so either either Tim needs to catch up with the cars in front or we need to get past them and catch up I'm not sure uh, which way is the best day to go we are actually uh, got a good slipstream um, down into Richie's uh, and um, if we can get a really good slipstream we can maybe be alongside by the time we get down to Montreal uh, and Tim's going to go defensive I think so we're not going to well, we could have maybe there was a space down the inside there but I think remember remember the uh, the objective of this race is not just not to hit anyone so um, I think basically with the overtaking moves um, uh, I'm not going for them unless I'm um, absolutely uh, um, it's in the bag basically and you can see here I've got my arm out the window telling um, Tim just to go forward I'm not going to make any moves down at Montreal I just want to get some time up here because it's really important that we catch the group in front if we end up fighting here we're going to end up losing too much time so I've just um, sort of signaled to Tim that we're going to work together here um, I'm not going to try any moves and we're just going to try and oh there's Del Pace actually he's facing the wrong way so that's another position we've got up uh, so we're going to skip ahead um, we've worked together with Tim we have caught that group up ahead and they are now fighting um, for position which means that we're able to then there's three cars up there that's potentially three cars that's potentially three places for us you've got um, teammates there Russell Halley and um, uh, Aaron Dunapala uh, side by side uh, Aaron making his way through and as you can see here we're on board uh, Russell Halley's car uh, Russell's channel is linked uh, in the video here so you can go and see Russell's channel uh, and that has the full uh, race from his perspective uh, we will see uh, a few videos from his vehicle um, as we go through this race actually because we we do end up um, and it's a bit of a spoiler alert uh, we do end up fighting with Russell a bit later on so um, if you want to see the full race from his perspective you can kind of see here we're side by side with Tim Storer down the down the main start finish straight here didn't quite make it through all the way around the outside there's not really uh, a way through there so 
um, lifting off the throttle a little bit early so that I can just follow Tim through and maybe we can both get a run down on Russell down uh, Russell for, for Montreal um, so gone defensive but looks like looks like he's had a bit of a difficult time turning in there Russell and that has just let Tim through um, no uh, we are way too far back and you can kind of see we're we're quite close, but not close enough uh, as we follow Russell through um, uh, Palmer uh, down to Agostini. Um, now, Agostini is another overtaking position if he can get the inside line. We're way too far back at the moment, just kind of showing our nose, maybe just trying to prompt a mistake, but not this time. Um, you can kind of see we've, we've got um, uh, you know, this train of uh, one, two, three, four cars uh, with us at the back of it. Uh, so ideally if we want to try and stick with this train you can kind of see the cars up ahead um, if we can work together we can maybe catch that train and the whole thing can come together for the last lap I mean it's laps five out of seven now so um, there's not much time remaining actually um, it is only a 15 minute race in this um, DRACC NX5 Clubman Championship um, so it is something which um, it could have had this balance between working together and trying to get the time and actually also trying to get the positions so you can kind of see here the slipstream working um, and it's down one of the down the Bentley straight which is one of the longest straights I don't know if anyone in the comments can tell me if it's the longest one but it's one of the longest straights in UK motorsport which means you can um, about for for me and with my engine at the moment I was kind of bouncing off the limiter in fourth just before the brick just before braking for, for this set of corners um, so this sort of discussion as to whether or not you go up to fifth or not uh, I think cars with a bit of a faster engine of going up into in, and using sort of a lot more of um, fifth gear uh, anyway we can come with at this point in the lap we're definitely a little bit faster than Russell and you can kind of see from his perspective we're getting closer and closer it's not really a way around unless I can kind of march my way down the inside here um, which um, as I said before like, these moves are not happening unless they're completely 100% on so <laughs> that's uh, that's um, definitely the aim of this race is just not to have contact um, but you can see we're very very close now uh, going down the start finish straight it's called the center straight actually and we're very close and we're going to be basically alongside as we go into Richie's and again as I said before that I mean I'm going to break a little bit earlier because there's no way around the outside well I'm not going to try a way around the outside and actually what I've done I've gone way too slow I've braked a little bit too much I had to get down to third gear and normally stick in fourth for that corner so it's allowing Russell to get away um, a little bit so we're going to probably skip a little bit ahead uh, to the last lap if you have watched this far um, do put a like and subscribe in it does actually matter algorithm and all that sort of stuff but um, if you do put a like and if you are not subscribed please do um, it would really help the channel out um, we are on the last lap so um, if there's going to be a move um, uh, to get this position it's going to have to be on this lap I think the other positions are gone now uh, you know there's unless um, sort of there's any major mistakes up ahead um, we're not getting those positions so really we're just looking at this one position uh, that we can potentially get in this lap so we kind of showed our nose forced uh, Russell onto the defensive um, and uh, that means there's a tighter line which means we can take the wider line and we've got a much better run uh, he, breaks, yeah, he breaks a little bit harder than I was expecting there so I a little um, lock up on the, my brakes normally I don't break that much at that corner um, sometimes that's what happens different sort of driving styles uh, as we go through the lap uh, especially when you're following very closely uh, so now down into Agostini down second gear corner two second gear corners on the circuit this is one of them um, can be quite difficult and he's on lap one I went to fifth gear not um, not first uh, and then quickly corrected that mistake but um, uh, it, it you know with these gearboxes normally pretty good gearboxes mx5 you can see very close to the tire barriers normally very good gearboxes but um i have got a habit of making a mistake of going from second to fifth not second to third. um excuse the dog in the background. hopefully the dog will stay quiet for the rest of this race uh, and and we're going to now follow russell uh, down on back uh, onto the bentley straight um we haven't had the best run um russell was a bit wide though so uh, let's have a look from his perspective. Yeah, we're a bit far back. Uh, are we getting enough of us getting a little bit of a slipstream? So we are getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Only a few corners left to go of this race, uh, and we are getting a lot closer. With last lap, we um, we were much better at this section of the race. So power down a little bit earlier. We're now getting much much closer. There's only two or three corners left to go. Um, I know it's only 19th position, but it certainly feels like we could definitely get this position. Uh, it's definitely worth going for. You can kind of see from Russell's perspective how close we are. Uh, it's not really a way round at this point of the circuit, so it's going to have to be 
on the very last corner of the race or is it going to be on the run down to the line we're going to see here so Russell breaks and uh, I'm on the power earlier which means we're catching we're catching and it's very much the last run of the race Russell yes, there's a gap there no <laughs> slish to the left quickly and we're going to be side by side you can see go 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 we're going to go and we're going to get over the line first and yes by 0 0.05 seconds that was 19th position um, and that's a pretty exciting last lap um, anyway next time out uh, we're going to be out for race two and if you remember uh, we did achieve our objective of um, no contact uh, no points for us uh, from this race and um, a fairly clean race uh, see you all again next time